Just a 10 minute walk from the Acropolis Museum will take you to Kukaki. Yes, I know most of you have never heard of it. It's often overlooked because it sits in the shadow of its more famous neighbour, Plaka. But it's there. And for those who want to escape from their fellow tourists for a little while, let me tell you something about it. Visitors probably overlook Kukaki because there are not really any must-see places listed in the guidebooks. However, it's well worth an afternoon or an evening of your time just to soak up the ambience and the genuine Greekness of the place. As you stroll around, you'll come across a number of eccentric little shops selling antiques and other unusual stuff, as well as some small art galleries and specialist shops. In the 1980s, Kukaki was nicknamed Little Paris, which might give you a bit more of a clue as to what you'll discover when you go there. Kukaki used to be an industrial area, and it's named after George Kukakis, who had a business making and selling metal beds. When the industrial unit started to close, the area started to decline a bit, and the rents dropped. Then, the area found new life as the relatively low rents attracted artistic types who converted the neoclassical buildings into cafes, coffee bars, or artisans' quarters. The rents have probably picked up a bit these days, and it's quite a trendy neighbourhood, but you can still feel the artistic vibe. Kukaki is popular with Athenians from other parts of the city as well as the locals, due to the many places to eat and or drink, a lot of which transform into small bazooka in the evenings, and many stay open until late, around 3am. We went for lunch this week and visited Cafaneo Avli in Giorgios Olimpio, a pleasant pedestrianised street with a central garden area separating the two sides. The Avli is a popular spot with youngsters and oldies alike and offers a reasonably priced menu for food. Our waitress, Ariadne, brought the menu along with a bowl of water for our dog without being asked, which is always a good sign in my book. When serving us, she was pleasant, attentive without being overbearing and very efficient. Maria had an omelette and a beer, while I chose the Avli burger with fries and a Greek coffee. Both meals were well made, well presented and very tasty. The bill was reasonable at just under €20. Euros. Cafaneo Avli is styled with a multitude of different coloured chairs, an old Volkswagen cut up to form the end of the bar and randomly a chopper bicycle nailed onto a mural in the back of the indoor area. I guess you could call it a rock style cafe, but in any case it was a step outside the normal touristy places and it was busy without being bustling, which made lunch a very relaxing and very pleasant experience. There are many other shops that are just as artily designed, which in my view makes Kukaki one of the quirkiest places in Athens and a delight for those people who like to get off the beaten track once in a while. And here's a good tip for Greek beer lovers. Make sure you seek out and visit Pantopolion. In fact, Pantopolion is worth seeking out just for itself and well worth an afternoon's visit. Thank me later for that. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.